Hello and welcome. Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. Today I have a fun project to share with you. I'll be using the coffee mug die set from Trinity Stamps and adding some felt elements that are going to be hand stitched for a unique gift card holder. I've already die cut the actual coffee mug die set and I've used 110 pound Nina cardstock with the little the little coffee ellipse at the top and I've die cut the gift card holder from the Winter Hughes paper pad. I'm going to snip away the heart. This, these little paper snips are available in the Trinity Stamp store. So if you look for a really good set that you need, then just pick some up from Trinity. I'm going to use two different colors of felt together with the little heart. And this die set already has all of the little piercing marks made into the die. And that is super handy and this felt die cuts really nicely. I'll have some links in the video description for the products that I've used today. I'm going to use some embroidery floss and kind of separate this, the little thread pieces. And I need three pieces of floss. So this is the way that I pull them away as I kind of pull the three away and keep the other gathered. And then I'm going to thread my needle. And I'm just using a regular needle here. Now, I'm showing you my knot process in case you don't have one and you're new to hand stitching. But wrap the thread around the needle three times and then pull the knot down or pull the needle away from the thread. And back that up and repeat it if you need to watch it again. But it's a really easy way to be able to get your knot at the end of the of the thread. Now I'm going to show you the running stitch that I use. There's two different ways that I found that are easy to do this. You can go up one side and then you know go back down and pull the needle from the back and just be sure that you can't you catch every one of the spaces that are in between. You could also skip spaces or you could pierce the felt in a different way and with your needle and make some intricate designs. The sky is the limit. Now I like to use a piece of washi tape or here is a piece of purple tape to hold my thread knot in place. It is a knot, but I don't want the bulk to be on the outside of the heart so that it's bumpy. So I used a piece of tape to hold it in place in the middle. And then here's another way to achieve that running stitch or back stitch. Just insert your needle and go to the second hole up and bring it up. And you'll just be working from the top side. And you can see here that if you keep doing it the same way, go down the hole and then skip two holes to come up then you will have a nice, beautiful stitch. So I'm going to speed the video up here and show you how quick and easy it is just to add this. Now, one thing that I find really appealing about adding a stitched element to a paper crafting project is that paper is not really soft. I mean, it's nice and smooth, but it doesn't give you a lot of those warm fuzzy feelings except from the visual content that we put into it. But when you include something like this that feels really soft, whoever gets it is going to touch it. They're going to feel that warm coziness that you have implied into the gift and they are just going to love it. Now I'm going to finish off and I thought I would leave this in the video and show you that you would simply go down into the last stitch and then I'm going to pull up just a corner of that purple tape. Here I am pulling it back and I'm sliding the thread underneath it and then pushing the purple tape back in place. Washi tape works really good for this too and just snip away my thread and it's that easy and because this is going to be glued down there's no worry about the thread coming loose. Now we have a really fun element in this die set, and this is the little 
I'm not sure what to call it, but it's the liquid portion of the coffee mug. And um, there's lots of different names for this kind of shape, I think. But we're going to call it the, the coffee section or the tea section because I'm a tea drinker. So I've added some Ink on 3 Twiggy Brown ink with my Trinity Blending Buddy brushes. I cannot tell you how much I love these brushes. They, you can get the color caps and the bar, the Blending Buddy bar system to go with it. It's all sold in the Trinity store. And these brushes actually stand up when they're, when the color caps are on them. So handy. Now I'm going to use my Trinity Ergonomic Teflon tool, which is another one of my favorites from Trinity. The owner of Trinity Stamps, her name is Tanisa, and she is so thoughtful in the products that she creates for everyone to use. And these little tiny tools like this seem insignificant, but to someone like me that has arthritis in my hands, that ergonomic tool makes the world of difference. I'm going to add some more Atelier ink from Ink On 3 to just the top portion of the cup because it is for Valentine's Day. I want to take that opportunity just to add as much pink and love and happiness as I can. Now I'm using a stamp set that is called a stamp set for ev almost everything, which says Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to use some Hero Arts Precision Glue to adhere my elements. This glue tube is available in the Trinity store. If, if you haven't visited the store lately, to notice there are more and more products that are not just stamps and dies, but some other handy products that you really need in your craft supplies that you can get all at the same time from the Trinity shop. All of the Ink On 3 products are available in the Trinity shop and the glue, and that just makes it really easy for me. So I'm going to use that, that glue and I've adhered these two hearts down together. And now I'm going to take the overlap area, just put a little liquid glue there. And that will be enough to hold the felt pieces down to the front of the card. It works perfectly. Now here is that gift card insert and I'm adding glue on the back, but I'm careful not to add it where those two little half circle cutouts will be because I want them to be free floating so that I can slip in my gift card. You see there how nice it works? You can make this a little more masculine and give this for a guy. It would work out really well. Thank you so much for spending time with us today on the Trinity YouTube channel. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like. And if you want to see more from Trinity, hit the little bell to subscribe and go over to Facebook to our Trinity group. Thanks for watching.